Mr. President, what about 1.3 billion Muslims who are watching this? And they know that it is only happening in Kashmir because they're Kashmiri Muslims. This is not happening to Kashmiri Hindus. They know that this is happening because of their religion. So what do you think they will be thinking? What do you think the Jewish community would think if the, if they were forget 8 million, 8,000 8, Jews stuck like this? What do you think Europeans would think? What do we think? I mean, any human community, if their members are stuck like that, what, what do you think they will think? Are we a, a children of a lesser God? Is it not going to cause us pain that there's no justice when it comes to Muslims? There were Rohingya Muslims, Myanmar, who was, who are, God knows, almost a million people out, ethnic cleansing. What was the response of the world community? So what do you think will be the response of 1.3 billion Muslims? I picture myself. I'm in Kashmir. I've been locked up for 55 days. I have heard about and there are rapes, Indian army going into homes, soldiers. Would I want to live this humiliation? Would I want to live like that? I would pick up a gun. You are forcing people into radicalization. When people lose the will to live, what is there to live for? And this is what, if you can do this to human beings, you are actually radicalizing people. And so, Mr. President, I, I want to repeat here, this is one of the most critical times. There will be a reaction to this. Pakistan will be blamed. Two nuclear armed countries will come face to face like we came in February. And before we head in that direction, the United Nations has a responsibility. For over 72 years, against the wishes of the Kashmiri people and in blatant violation of the resolutions of the Security Council, India has illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and indeed its own commitments to the people of Kashmir. On 5th August last year, India illegally and unilaterally sought to change the status of the occupied territories and deployed additional troops, bringing the total number to 900,000 to impose a military siege on 8 million Kashmiris. All K Kashmiri political leaders were incarcerated. About 13,000 Kashmiri youth were abducted and thousands tortured. A complete curfew was imposed accompanied by a total communications blackout. The international community must investigate these grave violations and prosecute the Indian civil and military personnel involved in state terrorism and serious crimes against humanity being perpetrated, I'm sad to say, with complete impunity.